Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and today we're going to talk about exactly how to make an extra $100 if you have no money whatsoever. Say for example, I lost all my money today, and I needed $100 by tomorrow, or I was done. Life or death, okay? What exactly would I do to go out there and make some extra money? That is what we're going to talk about in this video right here. And by the way, in the past, I've had had situations where I didn't have any money whatsoever, and guess what? Usually when you don't have anything, that's when you get the most creative. And by the way, I'm talking about legal ways that are going to allow you to sleep good and well at night without being, oh my gosh, paranoid, okay? So stay tuned to watch exactly how to go out there and make an extra $100 with no money whatsoever. And by the way, if you're new here, I post every single day, so make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I post a new video. And on top of that, also destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That way, YouTube grabs this video and shows it to even more people and it helps a lot so thank you guys so much now the first thing I would do is basically if I wanted to make a hundred dollars I would do drop shipping but not on eBay or Amazon Home Depot Walmart the answer is no what I would do is something called Facebook drop shipping this way it is 100% free and you don't have to worry about listing an item or for example the Amazon guarantee or anything like that but because it is Facebook and Facebook does have, for example, not the best reputation out there when it comes to scams, the answer is it is going to be around two to three times harder to actually sell something on Facebook. But Tommy, again, bro, I don't have any money, so how am I supposed to sell something on Facebook? The answer is we're gonna do dropshipping. Meaning with dropshipping, all you're doing is basically, you're basically listing an item from another website on Facebook Sell it to someone, once they pay you, use their money to buy the item, send it to them, and then keep the profit. That is the entire idea when it comes to dropshipping, and that is what we're going to do. By the way, when I did dropshipping around two years ago from Amazon to eBay, you couldn't do this on Facebook, because basically Facebook was such a scammy place. But today, Facebook is actually better with their whole marketplace, and that's why I'm actually offering this option right here. So tell me, how exactly do I do this, and how does it work? Now, the first thing you wanna do is basically, guys, you're going to have to become a market analyst. Now, I know that sounds fancy, but all I wanna do is give you a fancy name so when your friends ask you what you do for a living, you'll be like, hey, I'm actually a market analyst. Oh my gosh, that's so fancy, but in reality, you, you do like basically like nothing, okay? That's the whole thing. The answer is, what you wanna do is find little problems with the entire marketplace. For example, Walmart, Amazon, and eBay, the main ones out there, okay? And the answer is sometimes on Amazon, also eBay and Walmart, you might notice that basically the same item is selling for a different price on each website. Your job is to basically find the cheapest price on it, put it on Facebook, list it, get paid for it, use their money, buy the item, ship it to them, and then boom, you get to keep the profits. For example, I found a phone, $100. I put it on Facebook for $110. I get to keep the $10 profit. That's what I'm telling you to do. But Tommy, how do I ship it to them? The answer is very simple, okay? You put their shipping address and your bill information, and that way, boom, everything is fine. And by the way, no one cares what box it comes in. Trust me, I've tested it. Nobody cares if it comes to Walmart or Amazon. No one cares. All they care about is basically their item. And if they ask you, say like, hey, yeah, I actually use them as a provider, and that's why I actually got a discount, and that's why I send it over to you. It doesn't matter, and nobody really cares. Trust me, okay? Now, now you're probably wondering, but tell me, how do I find these items, these products, to then put on Facebook and sell it to people, okay? The answer is, you want to take a look at the entire environment and also the season and what people are actually looking for. Now, today is August 5th, if I'm not incorrect here. Look at the video title, whatever it is. The answer is right now, a hot product are basically getting back to school products. For example, calculators, laptops, headphones, like bedrooms, like whatever it is, okay? Everyone's going back to school, college, high school, and they need items to then basically go to school. Now your job is basically go out there and find items and sell to people. Sometimes it's gonna be like, hey, it's summertime, let's sell pools, let's be Christmas, okay? Let's sell video games. The answer is it all depends on what's actually going on right now. So basically, here is an example, a real life one. By the way, it took me 10 minutes to find this item right here, and it's actually a calculator. I found it on Walmart, and it's called a TI-84 Plus Graphing Calculator. By the way, if you don't know, this stuff is very expensive. If you're going to school, the calculus, or for example, even trigonometry, this stuff right here is very expensive. Now, this calculator right here usually goes for around $150, but today on Walmart, 
is going for $88. Meaning that right now, if you go, for example, on Facebook, you can actually see listings for $98. Meaning if you sell it, for example, on Facebook, you can actually get a $10 profit. Tell me, but that's only $10. The answer is, you're putting in no money whatsoever. It's a small item. Once you sell it, you also get free shipping from Walmart. The answer is there is no way for you to actually lose. And that's why I like this, okay? By the way, this is just one example. You can also sell printers, headphones, whatever you wanna sell, and then basically get some extra money just like that. Now, once you made enough money and you want to get to the next level, the answer is you can actually use that money by use calculators on Facebook for around $30 or so and sell it on eBay for around 50 to 60 and make a $30 profit just like that. But keep in mind, a lot of calculators are stolen by kids sold to you and you might get in trouble. So unless you have, for example, like acid and you wanna like wipe things clean, do not do this. Just go out there and find another product and then just resell that product right there. But I did this and then I found that like, hey, all these calculators, I made it up for around like 20 bucks or like $10, but they're all stolen, okay? So be very careful with that stuff. You don't wanna get in trouble. Again, I'm just giving you an example, not illegal ideas whatsoever. So keep that in mind. And by the way, another example is actually, for example, remember the Beats headphones before like Apple actually bought them, like really expensive? The answer is right now on Walmart, they're actually going for around 200 and $24 on Amazon, they're going for around 289. So right then and there, you can actually make a very decent profit by selling like brand new. But Tommy, it's only like around $40 profit. The answer is again, you're not putting forth any money whatsoever. And by the way, again, this is just one product example. You can do headphones, you can do printers, pencils, like whatever it is, anything that's going for cheaper somewhere else, just get it and then sell it somewhere else. And by the way, remember this, okay? The goal is, List the item, okay? Have someone pay you for it with PayPal, for example, and then use that money to buy the item, ship it to them, and also remember this, okay? Every time you sell an item, ask them to basically say, hey, can you leave me a review? And that way everybody knows I'm official and I'm not, for example, a fraud or a scam here on Facebook. Credibility on Facebook is going to be one of your best assets. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And by the way, I want you to use PayPal because basically with PayPal, they're safe, but you're also safe also. So keep that in mind. And by the way, if you want to take it to the next, next level, create a website with all these items, put them on Facebook and then say like, hey, if you want to buy it, just go to my website. It's 100% money back guarantee if you don't like it. And then boom, you can go there and basically shop around there for other items and then make even more sales. And that way, boom, boom, boom. Before you know it, you have a full on business actually going on, okay? By the way, I get asked this question all the time. Tell me, what about taxes? The answer is, if you make a lot of money, you're going to have to pay taxes, but that's a part of the game. Keep that in mind, okay? Extra money, you didn't have any, right? So the answer is, taxes is just a part of the game. Do not complain about taxes, okay? Also, one more tip is basically, okay, remember to list items in different zip codes, okay? Some items are gonna do better, for example, during hot weather, cold weather, whatever it is. But again, remember, we are in America, we have different seasons. So basically, in Florida, it's always hot, even when it's cold in New York, whatever it is, okay? So a lot of the times you can actually find cheap items, for example, in New York, cold areas, and sell it, for example, in hot areas like Florida, and then boom, before you know it, you're getting profits, depending again on the season, and also the time of the year. The more you do this, the better you'll get, and the more money you'll actually make. Again, a free way, to make money without spending any money whatsoever. All you need, for example, is a PayPal account, that's free. Facebook, that's free. Walmart, that's free. Amazon, that's free. It's all free. So there you go. Hopefully this one helps. Now the second way to actually go out there and make a hundred bucks, again, if I really need the money, the answer is I would create a full blown business in around like 10 hours, like around four hours, okay? Depends how much you actually know, okay? But the answer is, okay, Here's what I would do. I would grab anything around my house right now and sell it. For example, you see this right here? I would sell it. You see this right here? I would sell it. You see these right here? I would sell it. Anything with a price on it, I would sell it, grab all that extra money and use that to actually create a business, which I will tell you about right now. By the way, some of you might do this, make 50 bucks, a hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars, depending on how much crap you have around the house. The answer is, if you don't use it, sell it, get rid of it. I sold a lot of my sneakers. I didn't need them, didn't use them. Just sell it and get rid of everything you don't need and use that extra money 
for this right here. By the way, you will need something else. You will actually need, for example, a license for a car and also a hundred bucks to get started with this, okay? And that's what I'm telling you. Sell things around the house, make that hundred dollars, and then boom, you're ready to get started right now. The first thing is this, okay? If you have, for example, a license, but you don't have $100 and you don't wanna sell anything around your house, the answer is that's fine. Do me a favor, go to Craigslist and go, for example, to the for sale section. And under that, there's something called a free section. And there you will find, for example, books, furniture, and also a lot of other stuff, even animals like cats and dogs, and they're all for free, but I'm not telling you to sell cats and dogs. I'm just telling you they're there, okay? But you can basically buy furniture, couches, and also video games, and also car seats for kids, all this stuff right there for free. What do you do? Grab your car, put some gas money in it with like five to ten dollars and go over there, drive there, get all those items and then list them on eBay or Facebook and make some extra money. Tell me about why are they free on Craigslist? Isn't that weird? The answer is no. Americans have a ton of stuff they don't use and when they don't have any space for it anymore, they basically give it away for free or sell it for a very measly like profit margin, okay? And that's what you basically want to do. If I had a car, I will be doing this left and right, okay? However, if you don't have a car, here is what you do with your $100 you basically got by selling things around your house, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna grab that 100 and go, for example, to Goodwill and also garage sales and start buying collectible items, also used items and also even used clothing and sell it on eBay or Facebook. Tommy, no way this is gonna work. The answer is I have friends that have full blown business on eBay selling used clothes from Goodwill, okay, for like $10, 20 bucks. But again, they get it for $1, bro. It's like almost like a 20X profit right then and there. Again, grab a hundred bucks, garage sales, Goodwill, buy items there. But before you buy it, do me a favor, okay? Go to eBay first, look up the item, say like, okay, so it's going for $10, right here is $1, it's been selling, grab that item, Put it on eBay and then sell it. This one requires some money, yes, but again, it's only a hundred bucks, like 50 bucks, and then boom, you can actually get started, okay? And by the way, one of my favorite items I did this with is basically these Chinese statues right there. I bought them for around a dollar each. I run five of them, and I sold it for, guess how much, guys, okay? $74 on eBay, okay? Tell me why they're here. They broke when I shipped them. So again, be careful with shipping also. But again, I made almost a 7,000% profit right then and there off the bat with no problem and also like not a lot of money. The answer is you will have to go around shopping a lot, but the profit is always there. And guys, that is about it for this video, but I wanna warn you about something, guys, okay? I'm not giving you a, oh my gosh, get rich quick thing. The answer is no, okay? You will require some skill, you will require a little bit of cash, and on top of that, well, for this method right here, and on top of that, you will require finesse and also some hustle in you, okay? It's not, if you don't have any spunk, if you don't wanna go out there and work for something, it probably won't work out for you, okay? But that's the honest truth, but it's a quick way to actually make money if you actually need the money, and you also wanna make your own hours and also have your own business in a sense, okay? So I highly recommend it, and by the way, just start with your stuff, that way you get to know the market and also get to know people, and that way everything is good to go. But before I leave, remember, when you meet someone, meet them in the daylight, in a public place, and never, ever, ever meet someone in an alley or during the night and also not in a public area. You're asking for if you actually do that, be very careful. People basically do not make it by doing this the wrong way also. So be very, very careful and follow all of my safety guides, okay? By the way, when I meet people at night, I meet them at a police station or for example, at a Walmart or wherever it is, but it has to be a full-blown public area with as many lights as there were when it's like daytime. So keep that in mind, okay? But guys, that is about it for this video. Hopefully it helps. Comment down below if you think it's a good idea or not. And also, as always, if you like this video right here, well, like this video on top of also, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And also, if you have any questions, just comment down below or DM me on Instagram Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch a video on basically Three ways to make money online. Watch this video right here. Click on the Just tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.